Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to uh, provide you a first example on actually how to go. Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to give you a first example of how to find the Laurent series for a particular function. Now, if you've not done so, I strongly recommend that you watch the previous video where we introduced Laurent series. That way you will have both continuity and um, your uh, education and you'll have a more complete understanding of Laurent series. Yeah. OK, cool, cool, cool. Um, so uh, this is where we're working on um, in this case. And uh, we're finding the Laurent series for uh, this function f of z on uh, the norm of z is greater than one. Now, remember from the introduction video, we know that Laurent series are defined um, in an annulus where we have a. Uh, a circle of a smaller radius r1 and a circle of a larger radius r2 and so f is analytic uh, in between those two circles now uh, but we still can find a Laurent series where uh, the norm of z is greater than one because well we had in the introduction uh, video two different uh, Laurent series one for outside the annulus and one inside the annulus here we're uh, tasked for outside the annulus but notice that this is a degenerate annulus where R1, the smaller circle, has a radius of zero, right? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm saying the requirement that uh, Laurent series be on an annulus still fulfilled. And so we can uh, go ahead. Now, uh, very, very important when you're working on uh, Laurent series uh, for functions similar to this F here. Uh, so quotients that will invariably um, involve uh, something like 1 over 1 plus z or something like one, uh, 1 over a constant plus z. So anything like that. And of course, you know, the quotient can seem more complicated, but you could factor stuff out so as to involve something like this. So for all of these, it's very, very um, wise to have the infinite geometric series formula handy because, well, invariably you'll use it. As you'll see, we'll use it in this example and in the next, this here. Okay, but so as to be able to use this, we can rewrite f in the following manner. And by the way, very important, the infinite geometric series um, formula, this here, uh, is true for the norm of z is less than 1. So uh, first, let's rewrite f um, like this, right? So 1 over 1 plus z, it's easy algebra, can be written like this. Now, clearly, this quotient here is 1 over z times 1 over 1 plus 1 over z. And it's in the latter that we'll want to use the infinite geometric uh, series. Uh, however, we'll want uh, the norm of negative 1 over z uh, to be less than 1. And I said uh, the norm of negative 1 over z because, well, in this part, we could write this uh, so as to look like this by writing 1 minus negative 1 over z. So in place of z here, what we need is negative 1 over z, uh, an absolute value to be less than 1. But, well, we get that from knowing that the norm of z is greater than 1. Because uh, if the norm of z is greater than 1, then notice that by writing 1 over the left-hand side and writing 1 over the right-hand side, we can see that 1 over z is going to have to be less than 1. In other words, from this, it follows that uh, this is true. Well, whether what's inside is 1 over z or negative 1 over z, this will be true from this, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm saying then uh, we have this requirement fulfilled uh, in this particular case where we're doing 1 over 1 plus 1 over z, and therefore we could apply the infinite geometric series as we'd wanted. So uh, if you understood everything I just said, I'm saying we have this, which in turn equals this, but this in turn equals 1 over z times 1 over 1 plus 1 over z, and where what I just said um, can, using the infinite geometric series, be written like this, right? Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. So what do we have left to do? Well, we have uh, now just a little bit of tidying up, which is notice that uh, in this part, using uh, exponent rules, we could write negative 1 to the power n, and then times 1 over uh, z to the power n, but then we can tuck this z in the denominator inside and write z to the power n plus 1. Um, okay, and if we saw a little bit of the terms so that we get what it looks like term by term, it'll look like that. Now, uh, we're answering the question of the Laurent series expansion for f of z where the norm of z is greater than 1. That's outside the annulus. And outside the annulus, as we expected, 
uh, we get the form that we showed at the very end of the intro video. And this here is in the form that we claimed would be uh, for our uh, Laurent series expansions outside the annulus, right? So go back and look at the tail end of the intro video if you don't know what I just said. But um, now for uh, inside the annulus, that is where the norm of z is less than 1, what we're going to get is that 1 over 1 plus z, sorry, <laughs> I'm eager to finish, but yeah, 1 over 1 plus z, which is 1 over 1 minus negative z, is applying the infinite geometric series, um, this, right? Okay, so that means that we have uh, two different Laurent series, uh, one for inside the angulus and one for outside the angulus, and they're both given um, by this, and so we are done. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and more examples to come. Example two is next. Take care.